learning objectives after completing this learning module you will be able to know about the essential process of a company formation explain about the promoter and promotion of a company understand the concept and process of shares and agreement know about the capital subscription and appointment of the professionals get introduced with memorandum of association articles of association and certificate of incorporation introduction business expansion increases the complexity of handling it a formal organizational setup can help handle the complexity a company provides such an organizational setup why a company business expansion involves a huge investment of money it is for large scale production of a product and marketing that product formation of a company helps in tackling these issues especially for medium and large sized organizations a company allows to handle competition technological advancements and investment requirements but there are many formalities to form a company formation of a company formation of a company is a step by step process it involves steps like the generation of a business idea finding the feasibility of the idea registering the company and finally commencing business operations through the company many legal issues and formalities have to be fulfilled in the process of forming a company one needs to abide by the rules of the companies act 2013 in order to form a company three stages the stages of forming a company can be broadly divided into three stages these include many legal issues to be fulfilled by the promoters of the company the three stages are promotion incorporation subscription of capital these stages are common for both private and public companies promotion of a company the first stage in the formation of a company is the promotion of a company the beginning promotion of a company begins with a person group of persons or a company generating an idea once visualize the potential business opportunity of the idea they decided to start a company to pursue the idea they are thus known as promoters of the company the promoter promoter or promoters see that their idea is brought to life through a company they make their idea a success the requirement of men material equipment money etc are handled by them they take care of giving a name to the company getting the required documents and certificates and eventually start the company once the company is set up they constantly analyze their business prospects and keep the organization growing definition as per law under section 269 of the companies act 2013 a promoter is a who has been named as such in a prospectus or is identified by the company in the annual return referred to in section 92 or b who has control over the affairs of the company directly or indirectly whether as a shareholder director or otherwise or c in accordance with whose advice directions or instructions The board of directors of the company is accustomed to act however it is provided that nothing in this sub clause shall apply to a person who is acting merely in professional capacity functions of a promoter promoter or promoters of a company have various responsibilities for starting a company the following are their functions identification of business opportunity The first function of a promoter is identifying business opportunity related to a service or a product that is investment potential then the opportunity is analyzed for its economic feasibility feasibility studies to check whether the business opportunity can be profitable promoters conduct various feasibility studies by experts they are a technical feasibility 
It checks whether the idea is technically feasible or not. It looks for technology or raw material availability. Financial feasibility. This enables the promoters to know the exact fund requirement for their project based on which they decide to move further with their business idea. Economic feasibility. Though technically and financially viable, at times, the idea may not result in profits. This study identifies that apart for promoters. The result of these studies must be positive for the promoters to begin their business. Name approval. A name is to be given to the company. Three names have to be given to registrar of companies of the state where the company will be located. The name will be approved only if any other company is not using it. Fixing up signatories to Memorandum of Association Promoters need to decide who will sign the Memorandum of Association. Those who sign will become the directors and take up shares in the company. Appointment of Professionals For submission of details of the promoters to the registrar of companies, professionals like auditors, merchantiles, bankers are appointed. Preparation of necessary documents. The final function of the promoters is to prepare necessary legally mandated documents. These are to be submitted to the registrar of companies to register the company. Documents required to be submitted. For registering a company, certain documents are to be provided by the promoters to the registrar of companies. Memorandum of Association. The objective of the company are defined in this document. The following are the certain clause of the memorandum. The name clause. The name approved by the registrar of companies is presented in this clause. Registered office clause. The state where the office of the company is registered, its exact address are mentioned in this clause. Objects clause. The company's activities must not exceed the objects mentioned in this clause. Thus, it is very important clause. Liability clause. This clause limits the liability of the promoters to the amount unpaid on the shares. Capital clause. This clause determines the maximum capital that the company can raise through share issues. The authorized capital and the face value of the shares are mentioned here. The memorandum of association needs to be signed by two people in case of private company and by seven people for a public company. Article of Association This document consists of the rules to internally manage the company. Consent of proposed directors Directors mentioned in the memorandum of association need to formally give a written consent that they will act in accordance with the Articles of Association. Agreement This document is required if the company is willing to appoint any person as the managing director or a director or a manager. It is to be submitted to the registrar. Statutory Declaration This is a document stating the compliance of the promoters with the Companies Act. Receipt of payment of fee. Depending on the share capital authorized for the company, a proper is to be paid for the registration. Incorporation. Position of promoter. Incorporation is a second stage in forming a company. Before incorporation of a company, promoters are responsible for enforcing any contracts that they agree to. But they are not trustees or agents of the company. Their position with the company is fiduciary and cannot make non-disclosed profits. If they take any such profits, the company can take action on them. The promoters cannot claim the expenses incurred in promoting the company. However, the company can pay them afterward for their efforts. Also, they are eligible for shares and debentures of the company. Incorporation. To incorporate a company, an application for the same is to be submitted to the registrar of companies. It must be attached with the documents that are already mentioned, memorandum of association, articles of association, etc. 
After scrutinizing the documents, upon the satisfaction of the registrar, a certificate of incorporation is provided, thus a company is born. Effect of Certificate of Incorporation The date on the Certificate of Incorporation is the birth date of the company. The certificate makes the company a legal entity. The registrar issues the certificate after thorough scrutiny. With the issuance of the certificate, the company can now start its business with immediate effect. It can raise funds for the business, activities, employ people and start operations. Through the certificate, the company can enter into valid contracts, giving it a legal existence. Capital Subscription For raising capital from the public, there are certain formalities to be fulfilled by the company. The following will explain the same. SEBI Approval The Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI, is the highest regularity authority of India. It lays down guidelines for information disclosure to protect the investors. A public company that wishes to raise funds from the public must follow these guidelines. Filing of Prospectus A company that wishes to raise funds from the public by selling shares and debentures need to file a prospectus with the registrar of company. It is a document which is either an advertisement or an invitation to the share buyers. The information provided in this document is what attracts the investors to the company. Appointment of bankers, brokers and underwriters. Raising funds from the public needs special expertise. Bankers of the company receive the money raised. Brokers sell the shares to the public. If the company feels that public interest is not high, it hires underwriters to buy the shares that are not purchased by the public. Minimum Subscription It is the minimum number of shares subscribed to the total shares issued. If the overall subscription is below this, money has to be returned to the subscribers as per SEBI for a share issue. The minimum subscription is 90% of the share size. Application to Stock Exchange A company must apply to a stock exchange for handling its shares or debentures. This application is to be accepted by the stock exchange within 10 weeks. Otherwise, the company has to repay the money to the applicants. Allotment of Shares Money received through applications is to be placed in a bank account until the shares are allotted. Successful applicants who will receive allotment letters signed by the director or company secretary. In case of discrepancies like fewer shares allotted to the applicant or no shares available for the applicant, money shall be returned to them. Summary Look at what we have learned in this module. To tackle the complexity of a growing business, a proper organization is required. Forming a company fulfills that need. Forming a company entails three stages. 1. Promotion of a company. 2. Incorporation of a company. And 3. Capital subscription. Promotion of a company. In this stage, a practical shape is given to a business idea by the promoters of the company. They need to undertake various functions to promote a company. They are A. Identification of a business opportunity B. Feasibility studies C. Name approval D. Fixing up signatories to the memorandum of association E. Appointment of professionals F. Preparation of necessary documents The documents required for the promotion of a company are A. Memorandum of Association B. Articles of Association C. Consent of Proposed Directors D. Agreement E. Statutory Declaration F. Receipt of Payment Fee All these are to be submitted to the Registrar of Companies of the State where the company's office is located. The second stage is the incorporation of the company. It involves the registrar of companies carefully scrutinizing the provided documents and allocation of the certificate of incorporation to the company. Once the certificate is issued, the company can immediately start its operations. 
it makes the company a legal business entity. Capital subscription is a third stage. In this stage, the company can raise money to run its business from the public by offering subscription to shares. A clutch of steps need to be followed while offering share subscriptions.